to go. Well, before we get started, we want to show you um, a video. We've got some messages from a few people. When we first found out, uh, it was definitely some tough news to, to hear. It's something no one in this league wants or anyone else want to go through, and he's battled hard. He's been an inspiration to me, inspiration to everybody around the league. To see him come back and play, you know, that same season he got that news is, you know, it's just proof of strength. So proud of you. Uh, Oscar, it's an unbelievable story. Oscar, it's great to see that you're back on the ice and uh, I know you will have a great year and, and good luck. Wow, that's cool. A lot of, a lot of good guys uh, talking about me like that. It's, uh, it's unbelievable uh, to see that and just make me happy. I want to take you back, if, if I could, to December. You'd had a lump, but I think it was your girlfriend that finally convinced you. You know what, you got to have this uh, looked at. I thought I got a hair or something, normal hockey stuff. and You got a bump there because you have a bruise or something, but then it just kept growing. I had a tough time sleeping at night because I couldn't lay on that side. Uh, then my girlfriend Alma forced me to, to go to the doctors and, and look it up. So I can't thank her enough for that and uh, luckily I find it early too. What goes through your mind when you first hear those words, you have cancer? It's nothing you can't describe. It's just, uh, I felt empty, like nothing's gonna help me. But after a while you realize you can't uh, put yourself down like that. You have to keep your head up and uh, hopefully you can come out on the other side. And I did, so I mean, it was worse to, to tell my parents. Like I, when I hired it, I was like, yeah, this is me, I can, I can understand, but then call my parents, my brother and all that, that was even worse, I think. I couldn't even speak to them. He's shocked for sure. I was with him when they told him and uh, yeah, it was, it was hard to see him. This is bigger, much bigger than hockey. This is about someone's life and um, obviously, again, we're there to support him through this whole process. It's obviously not news you're, uh, you like to hear. Um, last few days have been tough, uh, tough on us and can only imagine how, uh, how Oscar's doing. I know you talked about uh, when you first were diagnosed, you wanted to kind of keep inside yourself. You didn't really want to talk about it. What made you eventually decide though that you, you wanted to open up, you wanted to share your journey with others? I think I realized that if I can talk to others, they're going to make me feel better. And if I can help others feel better, it's going to make me feel even better. So, I mean, it's nothing, nothing bad at talking to people. I was with my girlfriend 24-7, like we're talking to each other, but like you have to talk to someone else. You can't be in your little bubble for that long. And like I said, help others, that, that's a huge thing too. Can you imagine even going through this without her by your side? Uh, not really with the COVID and all that. We had no one here from, from Sweden that could help us, so she took care of me for three, three months and we didn't see anybody in the, during that time. So it was tough, but she's a, she's a tough woman. So we saw a video of you um, ringing that bell. What is that moment like after everything that you had gone through with your treatments? Just a relief. To knew that day was my last day. I don't have to go there, hopefully, ever again. And it's a great feeling. And uh, like I said, hopefully I never have to go back there. And uh, but I'm glad I, I made it through. Feels like I'm having a birthday, Christmas, and all, all those holidays at the same time, I just feel it feels awesome to be done and can't wait to just get back to the normal life again and start feeling like I'm living. All right, so you do that and everyone had followed your path and then it's return to play. Game six against the Islanders. You make your return to the ice. You surprised many of us, we couldn't believe it. Walk us through the range of emotions you must have been feeling. Yeah, I think I surprised myself a little bit too. I didn't think it be, would be that fast, but I was there and I was working out every day skating, so I took the chance. Whatever happens in the game tonight, this is a significant victory for Oscar. The lift here has just got to be an incredible boost for this entire team. I couldn't be happier. I think I played okay. It wasn't my best, but as long as I could help the team and we won that game too. I know you had to get special permission to have the um, cancer ribbon sticker on your helmet this season. Why was that important to you? I just felt that was the right, right thing to do and because uh, you're going to see it like if I'm on the ice and someone have a camera on me and you can see that little, little sticker on there, it's going to make you think about it. 
We can always find things to complain about. Does it give you almost a, a new appreciation for sometimes the simple things in life? A hundred percent. I talked to uh, someone in the team that you can complain about going in in the morning, you're tired, and, like you have to practice and all that, even you're tired. But to be honest, we're, we're living our best life. We're playing hockey and we're having fun. So I can't complain about anything, to be honest.